you? Right now, this is all I need. I just need to get better at Blue Cane. Blue Cane is the next level of improvement that needs to be undergone. I need to learn how to like think like an assassin, you know what I mean? Because the problem is I approach fights like a bruiser. And that's the problem that I have with Viego and Blue Cane. Okay, hello? Will be a Jedi. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Alright, let me see. Let me share your screen. Dude, I just took the fattest shit of all time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you used to say that in your chat every day? Right, yeah. So you're grave, so. I mean, you're probably already gonna go blue. So. Yeah. It's because, like, I feel like my red cane's good, so I really want to practice my blue. Why are you going the Nightbringer skin? That skin sucks. Really? Yeah, there's a sound bug. If you ult too early, like, if you go inside someone and you come out way too fast, the sound's bugged. I see what I mean if you play enough blue cane. Yeah, but that's why I just don't play with sound on. I see what you mean. I Wait, why don't you play with sound on? I feel like that'd make your stream more hype. You think so? Even if it's, like, low, yeah. No one wants to hear you just click, dude. <laughs> okay, you should go blue cane, dark harvest, and... Yeah, wait, wait. I, I know the runes. Wait, watch. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Yeah. Bang, bang. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I like those runes just because it's good for mid to late. So this is like a tier build. If you go inspiration, you can go no tier, but you have to be really good at mana management. Yeah, I, I'm hard. not that level yet. Do you know how to full clear before 315? Yeah, yeah, you do the smite on the wolves, and then you, uh, eat through the wall. Yeah, you probably just full clear here. Yep. Okay. You know the rule of smite with cane? What? You always go blue on blue cane and red. It's situational. Oh, really? You never need red smite for blue cane. Yeah, because when it comes to mid to late, you can just smite and ult someone and kill them. Yeah, but do you ever really want to go red smite on, uh, on red cane? Yeah, if they don't have a lot of kite. Interesting. They're a lot of melee range. Alright, do your full clear. Alright. You might just want to pass bot early, bot mid. Can't get anything done. But okay, this is the thing. You're always forced to start on your red as Kane, right? No, you can do different things. It's just better below master tier. But I mean, even in master, actually below like challenger, you can do, whatever, you can do the same shit over and over. But so do you ever start blue or no? Can. In some situations, very rare. Okay, you just get a free first blood. Yeah. Wait, hold tap for a second. Okay, so. You should go Iron Spike whip this game for Drinker. Is that really worth it? I feel like you have yeah, no damage. For really? Team fighting, yeah. Because you're team fighting, you're not supposed to burst. Wait, he's not leashing you, what the hell? Yeah. Because Iron Spike whip for Drinker is better for team fight, blue pain, and then. Pick blue cane as prowlers. You're gonna be team fighting more than picking. Hmm. Because every time I do the Gorge Ringer build, it always feels like I have no damage, honestly. Well, you don't have as much damage. You have to play smarter. You have to play off your ult. You understand your damage output. You understand when to fight or when not to fight. And yeah, that's the thing. That's it's the like. Because he can farm a lot, so. You don't always have to fight. Mm -hmm. You should be watching the map more as you're pathing down. You gotta get the thing of using your function keys. Well, the thing is, I don't use function keys, but it's like I'll look at the map. We should get in the habit of using your function keys. You have to be able to tell what the wave state is. Both mid and bot are pushing, so you can't really gank anywhere. I can do it. The enemy jungle started because he weren't paying attention, but he started red, just pathing up, which means he's gonna gank top early. <laughs> if you pay attention to where they start, you know where they're gonna be, and you know you can counter it. You don't need to hit blue after it's below 300. Usually red will be able to kill it. Um, yeah, but I didn't want to risk like the aggro. Uh, you can maybe look for a dive bot. They're kind of low. No, I want to counter gank. Oh. Counter gank. Hey, he's got ignite. I guess it could work. Should help shove in the wave. Push it. Hmm. I mean, it shoves towards her. It shoves towards her. Look. What do you mean? I would you? be forced to stay mid if you shoved it. But then you. Yeah, but LeBlanc was pinging me off it, so it's like she wouldn't have stayed. She was giving counter. Take her wave. <laughs> I'm gonna do it next time. Like you're wasting your time. Go reset. You can't do anything down here. You sure? Yes, okay. yes I'm positive. Look, look at Kane as a champion. You can't force a gank that hard. 
Go back to farming your camps. The faster you yeah, get Iron Spike Whip. There you go. The faster you reset them, the faster you'll be clearing them over and over and over. Okay. You probably should have put a trinket on Talon's Krugs, but it's whatever. Yeah, so there I don't waste time in the bush. Okay, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Okay. Yes. He's down one camp, but just go full clear again. Oh. And then, oops. See, there you go. That's why you want to be at your camp immediately. And I'll just get it. I'll just get it. He can't fight you on the map. Right now, he doesn't have a reset. And you have a full reset, so you can do whatever. If he tries to do anything, just beat the shit out of him. Yeah, you can go help. Go help. Yeah. Walk the autos. Yeah. I don't even know they're mid lane. Who is it? Silas. Yeah, I can't. I can't. No, with Iron Spike, they're really strong. This is why it's good for team fighting and skirmishing. Okay. They're really strong. You'd probably beat the shit out of them if you wanted. He was like. Alright, now go farm your wolves. Go farm your wolves and Grom. Oh, you actually made that E. What the Wait, hell? Wait, should I. That e is to me. Hold on, should I not just die yeah, yeah, bot? You can, you can. Yeah. You can. I didn't see how low they were. And they overstayed too. Go over the wall. No, no. Look bot, look bot, look bot. Look what? Wave showing. Wait, why is Rakan ba basing? What? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, you're fucked. I'm actually. Gonna kill mid anyway. Okay. Either LeBlanc solos or you can't because he's just gonna be. It's. Not, not with the positioning that he was in. Oh, that's good though. You could deny him. Hey, look how ahead you are with Iron Spike Whip early. Yeah, All I right, see. Go farm, your go farm your bot side, get the scuttle, reset, farm your camps again. God, I'm fucking horny. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little read juice. I just said that the entire stream. Yeah, you know, just hold your screen. Wait, you're nice. telling me you just like turn off your camera and just do a sniff? <laughs> You know Tarzan, he used to like fart, he used to watch my stream a lot when I was like your size and he would just flame me and I would like learn but I didn't have like an ego so he would flame me. Wait, you shouldn't, you should have saved oh, me. Yeah, I, I know, I know, for, for, for so, yeah. Mm. Huh. Okay, yeah, you go. Just lead with W. Lead with W auto. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's the cane combo, baby. Alright. Uh, no, don't look bot. No? Just take the scuttle. You have, look, you have 500 gold. You can maybe clear the wave after. Look to secure the wave after. If yeah. they keep shoving it, or if they freeze it. Because I can also get form as well. No, it's fine. Get form at a cool pace. You're ahead. You're this ahead. You don't need to do anything risky. That's how you lose games. You can... I feel like this just works. No. Uh, maybe. Good. Very ahead, so good. Don't go in. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, I mean, yeah, you got something. But see, at this point in time, you risk losing your top side. If Talon ran straight to your top side, you're punished. And what did you get? Dialed? I mean, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay, just, I see what I mean. Not really the best. You have to be willing to, like, understand. No matter what you do, you're trading something off for it. Uh, yeah, should I go Ionian into Phage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no tier? What if I went... Mm. Eh, it's fine. Okay. You gotta get. You gotta practice not going tier anyway if you want to be a good game main. Gotcha. Mana management's easy. I'm sure as a jungler, you know that you regen mana in the jungle. Yeah, but so Hecarim has mana issues jungle. too, so that's why it's like I'm fine with like mana problem champions. <laughs> should I just slide mid or should I look to uh, clear top side? Clear top side. Really? Okay. Clear top side. Look to take his top side. Actually, yeah, what yeah, if I just went blue? Just to his yeah, top. that's yeah, the same. So I'm bot, so yeah, you just go do that. See, you're, you're sacrificing your bot lane to look for like a counterplay on him and then you could look yeah. for a mid dive after because you're already positioned behind him i'd say after the blue that way you're punishing after? talon and your gank mid. yeah you want okay. to make sure that you're punishing as many people as you can instead of just ganking and getting you know your laner ahead you want to get yourself ahead and then the lane ahead because i mean realistically she shouldn't die now she sees she solos and then just look to take whatever yeah, i can probably go grom pin too bot yeah. side yeah fine well, I mean, you could maybe look for a uh, top gank. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like, dive this for, for sure. That gives you form as well. So you gradually take your form. You don't try and rush things or force things. You just, like, fight as you're farming. Should have saved your smite, though, for the dive. Blood Yoni tank. Oh, wait, no, you could tank first because you're old. Yeah, exactly. Should have it, though, at the end. That way you don't lose all your HP. But I'm looking to reset anyways for form, aren't I? 
I mean, yeah, you can. You don't really have the best reset, but it's fine. Yeah, because I could just like reset in the form and then go Bok and right away. Will be a Jedi. Yeah, you could win that. Approach from the wall. Yeah, that one. There you go. Kron should have been walking up. Been when you pinged him. Kind of cringe. He has, she has no ult. Wait, he does? Watch out, that one. A little deep there. Keep paying attention to your surroundings. Try and ult him immediately. See, that's why sometimes notice your build you're not really that strong yet yeah this is how you build your lead if this helps you farm faster so should i have like fight. should i have like not even look to fight there then i mean if her con leads properly yeah but when you're chasing that far the, the lane and you don't know where talent is mm -hmm. yeah. okay i mean since i has no if i just focus clear like top to bot isn't that best case scenario yeah that would have been the best case scenario because you would have been higher xp you would have been level nine would have been stronger had more HP stats. Plus, they they weren't really in a position where they were gonna die. They could have just free scaled. That's why a lot of times you just want to farm and understand your damage output. Okay. Yeah, you can't really make that much of a force play when your support doesn't play right. It could have worked, but he did play right. Yeah. Nice. It's a very free. Yeah. I just like to take dragon because he has no bot side camps. Okay. He's gonna go top side. He gets scuttle. Maybe Raptors, you get Dragon. It's a decent trade. Yeah. And then just form your bot side, check to see if your Raptors are up. If they are, take them. And then you rift after. Mm -hmm. Either you stop one rift or you do it. Wait, what if I just side bot since we know that Zaya has an R? Nah, I'm gonna do that. They're, yeah. they're pretty ahead, and your Rakan is showing you that he's not gonna play the fight properly. Don't okay. waste your time, just farm. So it's about just always taking the secured plays, right? Yes, and if someone in your face does the most like wrong thing ever, you don't gank for them off. You only gank for them when it's free. Yeah. That's how you get tilted at your teammates, is by constantly trying to play off someone you know isn't going to do well. Yeah, and this yeah. Rakan, you already know isn't going to do well. So you might as well not play off them. Play off like Yoni or something. Play off yeah, like okay. long. Players that are doing well to cover top and take rift. Yeah, he's shoving in the wave. Big wave top. Big wave top. Big frogs the rift. Look how much CS and XP you're getting instead. Yeah, okay. Play and XP is a lot, so getting those couple minions is very worth. Because it doesn't really invest too much of your time. Yeah. Now, you can either do Krugs or Rift. Mm. It's, you, were gonna, you can do both, but just... You feel like Talon's going to be around. I don't think yeah. you will. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's going to go bot. See, but you have to get in the habit of hanging out where Talon is. See, you always know where he's going, because his camp... So I, he went top, because he cleared his two top side camps. Now his bot side camps are up, so you Bot. So just like panel like that? Yeah, being bot mid. He's pretty much just running straight at Kogma right now. It's not gonna work out. Oh, and look, there he is. Yeah, so ping to me is a huge gotcha. Yeah. After this, should I just look to reset or should I look to invade his top side? Or like. I mean, you have rift, you should try and put it down mid maybe. Up. Okay. Uh, his top side isn't up, you saw him take top side, that's why he was top of the gang. His bot side's up. Gosh. Gotcha. Doesn't have any top side camp. You could look to do something with the rift real fast though. Maybe send him mid. Oh, you can get a kill here. Yeah. Kill. Rift. Uh. Yeah, you could have killed him, but it's fine. Talon would, might have been there. Would have been risky. But he used his W, so you had enough damage to kill him. A lot of your damage with Kane is your uh, ult. As long as you have that. Yeah, I'd back off. Just take Yo, you got no motherfucking Donald? Yep. Best Hecarim in the world. Unless you can get out. I'd go top. Oh, oh, and took them on. I don't know, I think you're fine though. E. U. Okay, there Gosh. you go. Uh, yeah, probably just like Grom preset, right? Grom preset. And then just play behind side lane, so just play behind. Actually, no, you have a team fight build, you can do whatever. I forget. Join team fight build, gain. Get core, and then play hold tap. Good team. Um. I mean, you could go Serpents just because Graves... I mean, do I really cool. need it, though? No. If you need to kill Graves, yeah, but he's 0-5, so probably not. Yeah. could go Axiom. could go Yumus. I mean, if you're going to be popping off in fights, Axiom's great. Yumus is good for, like... I'd say Yumus is probably the best, because mobility gives you counterplay potential. You could dodge everything. Mm-hmm. Edge of Knight if you feel like you're just going to get one quick CC, but I don't think you will. 
Yumu's is kind of like the more Chad version of Edge of Night because Edge of Night's like a guaranteed spell block, but Yumu's it's like you can dodge the spells, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, Yumu's is pretty solid, and then go Grudge after. Typically, you go like Yumu's or whatever Lethality item Man Immune, but it's fine. Really okay. Needed. Grudge is just as strong. Look how strong your reset is. Wait. Yeah, Warhammer. Get Blue Orb as well. Oh, really? Yeah. It helps you scout so you can look for picks better. Gotcha. <clears throat> Only use your E's and your Q's when you're in the jungle so you can regenerate. You could probably help mid lane too. I overextended. Wanted to help them. Now you're in a proper angle to look for anything bot or mid. The more walls, the more you benefit. I'd hit him with W and then combo the graves. Yes. Don't exit so far. You can exit closer with your ult, you know? Oh, yeah? You can lower the range of your ult. If you exit closer, it makes it easier. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Kara, she still has ult, so just play it slow. Yeah. Play it out till she ults and then be ready. Just dodge and then go back in whenever. Oh. Yeah, break your CDs again. There you go. Okay. Uh, I should probably just reset drag. into drag, right? Yeah. Okay. You said you move drag. Yeah. yeah. You can stay on the map longer. Gotcha. It's all about staying on the map as long as possible so you can get that juicy farm. Yeah, I see. Just look at your XP lead on the talent. Yeah. Wait, he's the same level as you. What the fuck? I think it's because he got like a fuck ton of minions and shit, honestly. Yeah, he did. But he's useless. He could farm blue and Gromp same time. And wolves. I mean, you have mm, a lot of I just want to finish off this thing with Smite first. I mean, I don't need to. I'll just like Hogwan do it. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to. Why would you do it? You have to get in the mindset of a cane man. Everything is yours. Let's get Raptors. Get Scuttle and then yeah, oh, wait. just do whatever. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I could just look for a fight. Yeah, you don't need to get Scuttle. Go in mid. Oh no, you won. Oh, we did? Okay, so that's how you... Okay. Because I'm going to be real with you. It's like, I, I would watch your stream a lot. And it's because it would always be that every time you'd reset, you'd look for, like, map opportunities and shit. So I just, like, ingrained it in my mind that I should always look for, like, map opportunities right away rather than just, like, perma full clearing. No. The thing is, is that I'll full clear, but I'll look for plays as I'm full clearing. That's why I say watch the map. Because if you're always watching the map while you're clearing, then you can yeah. always, like, stop your clearing and be like, okay, let me do this. So a lot of times I'll just stop what I'm doing and then go help. But you should always be doing something. See, a lot of time I'll watch you jungle and you won't be doing something. Yeah. You won't be doing something. You know? You'll just be, you'll just be doing nothing. You know? <laughs> Wait, you're telling me it's like I'm doing nothing? Why I mean, Gore? You play Hecarim the same. If you played Hecarim the same, you know, unironically, you'd be Challenger. What do you mean? No BS. If you applied what you just did right there on Kane to Hecarim, you'd be Challenger. But with Predator, Hecarim... You'll never fall behind. No, you should yeah. go Predator. I'm telling you, Predator is infinitely better than Conquer. It's better in Diamond. It's not better in Challenger. People won't fall for it in Challenger. No, but that's the thing. With Predator, they'll play safe. But they don't. Like, I'm telling you, I played in the they ELO. Will. It's preseason. That's why, man. No, not even... Like, end of season, I'm talking about. Dude, I'm telling you. Predator is not the way on Hecarim. Hmm. Really? At least the way you play it, yeah, because, I mean, I don't know, you kind of fall off. I mean, as long as you're farming good, I think you should be fine, but see, a lot of times you don't farm good, you kind of just fight randomly and then throw the game. Yeah, as it's like... You don't do those random fights, you have to understand your champion more, you have to be more comfortable with their damage output. Well, that's the thing, it's like, on Hecarim, I'm completely comfortable with that, and I think I'm fine, but so on champs like Kane, I'd say I don't know my limits, you know?